What up, internet? This is Chris the Phone Cats, and there's an android with like a tail and cat ears. Because they're still doing these Tencent apps. Um, there's a whole bunch of new ones, and let's talk about them. Um, I don't know. I think this is such a success because they're 10 cents and they're not free. Like, uh, the reason they're doing it is because there were 10 billion Android apps downloaded, and yeah, 10 cents is better than free. Isn't that weird? Okay, here's the first one called Apparatus. It's like a really cool uh, physics game. Next is The Sims 3, where Herman Cain got his stupid 999 tax strategy. And he quotes Pokemon movies. That guy is ridiculous. I can't believe he was a candidate. Okay, here's something called Slide It Keyboard. And this is one of those cool things where you just like feverishly slide your finger all over the keyboard and it somehow types out a sentence. It's really cool. Um, there's a huge learning curve to it though. That is Snowfall Live Wallpaper. Um, I don't know, there's a free version, but you can get the paid version for 10 cents. It probably donates them money. Here's As Asphalt 6, one of the best driving games. Uh, it's HD, there's like drifting, there's a lot of cool mechanics in it. What else we got? More cars, driftings, here we go. Seasons, Zen, free, or get the paid one with more options and stuff. But it's just these really relaxing uh, live wallpapers and backgrounds. Very zen, very seasons. Here's another 10 center called Pano or Pano, where it's just like this awesome um, panoramic camera app. I haven't, dab I haven't really dabbled with it myself, but I'm gonna buy it for 10 cents. Here's another cool little game called Drop 7. Um, it's one of these numbers games where you're on like a grid, so I don't know. Not really for me, but you might like it. Age of Zombies, this one actually looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know why their intro pick had a dinosaur on it, but maybe you're fighting dinosaur, like zombie dinosaurs, which seems kind of weird. And last but not least, Kids Dot, where you connect the dots. Um, it says ages four to seven, but if you see me at the grocery store waiting in line, making like a Simba the Lion King, don't make fun of me, because I probably will do that. Okay, next in line, we're taking a look at a game called, oh wait, there's a cat at a mirror's edge. Damn. Because we're taking a look at a game called Mirror's Edge. Uh, I got this for 99 cents on my iPad, and then I think it said free on a whole bunch of the iTunes stuff, so check it out for yourself. This is like the best sideways runner platformer thing I've played in a while. Um, as usual, I'm only on like level two or something like that, and I finally got past the tutorials to where they like are explaining all the mechanics, but I don't know. I'm not past that at the same time because because I haven't even found bad guys yet. There's bad guys on some of the screenshots. Okay, so you flick up to jump, flick down to duck, and then there's all kinds of like cool parkour mechanics. Um, whenever you're doing a really long fall, look, I'm running on the side of a wall. That rhymed. Whenever you're about to fall, if you uh, do like a downward flick, it will like make you do like a little barrel roll. Do a barrel roll, and it'll save you. Otherwise, you get hurt. Um, really cool game though. I think this was recommended by my 690. So that kid's on fire, or adult. I don't really know how old any of my fans are. But at the same time, I don't really care. It's like in World of Warcraft, where it doesn't matter the age of the person you're playing with. You could be playing with someone that's like 14 or uh, like 64, and it doesn't matter because it's just about the skills. Anyways, um, this comes up to an exciting part, and I ended up dying because, yeah, they had more background sound, and then all of a sudden a helicopter comes out of nowhere. I ain't trying to hear that. I wasn't ready for that. Ah! You can jump back and forth between the walls and stuff, but I don't know. I have a hard time with it as I just kind of like plummet into oblivion. Okay, there's a cat snake. Was this my 692? Tell me good games when you find good games, people, and I will show them to the world. Uh, this one's called Snake 97. You can get this on Android or on iOS. There's my badass iPhone. I know you're gelling. I almost put uh, peanut butter and bread out before making this video. Cause I all, oh, I was gonna say cause I know all you bitches gonna be gelling, but I kind of messed it up. Um, I guess I can give you some pro snake strategies. You want to avoid your own snake, and I know sometimes that's gonna be hard, but you want to eat these dots, and sometimes they're oh damn it, that was a really short clip. Okay, there's a kitten and an egg. It's not really a kitten egg. It's just like a cat, and you can't see its face, but it's in the shape of an egg. Cause what's this game called? Egg Punch. It's kind of weird. It's like miniature golf with more more characters and more oddities and stuff like that. 
here's kind of a cool level to where I just flicked once and it did a whole bunch of automated stuff. And yeah, I'm only on the first world level pack, so it's pretty pretty humble and pretty tame. Uh, gameplay, yeah, you pull back. It's kind of like pinball to where you pull back the lever and then aim where you want. Except in pinball, you never aimed. Ugh. Ooh. Yeah, I got a hole in... I was going to say a hole in one, but that wasn't a hole in one. Uh, I made it to the second world, and they're already starting to add new mechanics. First, there was those rabbits that would pop their heads up and bob me out of the way, and now it's these buttons and doors that I have to unlock, so... Not too shabby. Okay, what do we got next? Here is something that's more of a chain... No, no, it's not even a game. Okay, this is called Sonic something. I guess I'll have to look at my sign. Oh yeah, Sonic Notify. This is weird, people. Do you know how uh, there's some like things that you can opt into, and then when you go to stores, they'll send you coupons and text message updates and stuff like that? This is like that, but you don't opt in. So expect to see this like at Best Buy and grocery stores and places where when you walk past the diaper aisle, like you get diaper text message spam. And it's so ridiculous. It does it uh, in the same way that Shazam identifies a song, but your cell phone is always open to receiving these frequencies. I'm really confused and kind of like concerned at the same time as usual, but I don't know. So you could be walking uh, past the iPad aisle and then your phone blips. Mm, okay, that's enough of that. Research it for yourself. It seems kind of funky. Um, here's the next game. It's called 16-bit versus 8-bit, and it's pretty ridiculous. You're going to be switching. Like, uh, you can only kill the 16-bit guys when you're in 16-bit mode. You can only kill the 8-bit guys when you're in 8-bit mode. Um, it did take me, like, 15 minutes to figure that out, as I would just die every time. Because I didn't think the game would be that hard. Like, it's... <laughs> I expected an easy game, and it's not. Like, it's... It's fast. It's nerve-wracking. Oh, Yeah, it kind of freaks me out just even watching it. Um, I think this may have been 99 cents or free. Shit, and I haven't been saying developers' names. Uh, I don't even know who... Oh, this was made by Veda. Veda Games or Veda Apps. Oh, the first one, Mirror's Edge, was made by EA. Snake97 was made by... Who is that? Kuistra Apps. And then Egg Punch was made by Pixel Juice. And I think that's the last game. Cool. Yeah, that's it. So as usual, like this video if you liked it. Uh, fave it if it was somehow your favorite. And comment if you're one of the people that actually comments. Because it's so hard to get people to comment. And comment if you don't comment on the Starkland World of Warcraft again. I'm going to delete this channel. Uh, go look at my website and buy a cheap tablet. And then you can scan it and drop it. Fun cats.